Welcome to this Christmas reflection. So once again, it's nearly Christmas. Where did 2022 go? Have you baked your Christmas cake? Finished your Christmas shopping? Posted the Christmas cards? <laughs> There's so much to do. But it all leads to the food and the presents. And many people seem to think that's what Christmas is all about. Well, the food and the presents may be fun, but it's celebrating the birth of Jesus that is really special because it completely changed the relationship between God and people. During today's reflection, we're going to think about how we have constant access right into the very presence of God and access into his family because of the birth of Jesus. What is access? It's the entrance or the way in. Have you ever walked from Baslow to Chatsworth Estate, from Baslow through a specially designed gate? It's like a tube of wire mesh that spins and has a hole on only one side, big enough to give access to prams and mobility scooters. It's a bit difficult to explain, so if the technology works, you should be able to see a picture of a mum about to go through with a pram. But if you come into the back of Chatsworth, right at the top of the estate, you gain access by climbing a high stile made of stone slabs set into the wall. A blind friend of ours climbed it one day and turned the wrong way when he was on the very top, so his foot was waving around in mid-air. We managed to get his foot back on the right place just in time. Access to the Chatsworth estate over the stile is difficult, particularly if you can't see. Access through the stile is a good analogy for the time before Jesus came. In the Old Testament, access to God was difficult for the Jewish people. They had a complicated set of sacrifices and offerings that were used in worship. They couldn't approach God directly because they were sinful people. Only the priests could offer the sacrifices on behalf of the people. Also, the Jewish people worshipped in the temple, which had a very special place called the Holy of Holies, which was separated by a curtain from the rest of the temple. It was a place filled with the very presence of God. No one was allowed to enter except the high priest, and even he would only enter once a year on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, which is still celebrated by the Jews today. That curtain in the temple represented the barrier between God and people. And it's not only the Jewish people who were separated from God. It also applies to non-Jewish people or Gentiles. If the Jews were not able to approach a holy God, you can be sure that Gentiles were not able to. In the New Testament, in Colossians 1, we read, This includes you, who were once far away from God. You were his enemies, separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions. But the birth of Jesus changed all that and gave us direct access to God. We celebrate the birth of the Son of God as a baby, but it was God's plan that 33 years later this baby, who had grown into a man, would die to take our sins away and to remove the barrier between a holy God and a sinful people. The picture of gaining access to Chatsworth through the specially designed gate is like Jesus himself as the gate who gives specifically or specially designed access to God. <laughs> One of the verses we love to read at Christmas is Matthew 1 verse 23. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. That's amazing. Because of the birth of Jesus, he was God with us. God was no longer remote and inaccessible, but available to help us and guide us whenever we ask him. Surely there must be some hoops we have to jump through to approach God. Surely we ought to be scared at coming into the presence of our creator and the creator of the universe. Look at what these verses say about that. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 12. In him, that's Jesus, and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Mm -hmm. 
Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 2 says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. These verses complete the picture. That mum we saw earlier had to make sure the gate was turned to the right place before she went through. So we have to take some action before we have the privilege of coming into the presence of God. We come through faith in Jesus, who brings us right back to the wonder of his birth at Christmas. Because of the birth and death of Jesus and our response to him in faith, the door is open right into the presence of God. We have a tremendous privilege, a great comfort and a wonderful blessing to come into the presence of our God and Saviour at any time. This Christmas, let us approach him with freedom and confidence as we worship and give thanks for this baby who has torn down the curtain in the temple that we mentioned earlier and let us worship and rejoice in the birth of Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you sent Jesus. We remember his birth at Christmas time with great joy because it means that we have access into your presence, because it means we have forgiveness for our sins, and because it means we have the hope of eternal life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Happy Christmas, everybody. Happy Christmas. <laughs>